hello everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing well today i know i am if this is your first time here hi my name is iliana and i am on my debt free journey trying to pay off over 100k in credit cards car loan and student loans and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back i'm so glad you could join me so i guess you guys noticed that i have these beautiful little flowers around they're kind of made of like felt material. I found them at the Dollar Tree, which I now call the Dollar 25 Tree. Thank you, inflation. And I thought this would be really cute to put around my notebook. Now, <laughs> as I was putting this around, I forgot about the logistics <laughs> of when I'm writing. So... I'm going to try, but I might have to take a couple of these, probably leave this up here and move them aside just for a little bit. Um, but these are super cute. Um, they did have a red and a pink flower, but uh, you know, you see so many of the pinks and the red flowers during Valentine's Day and people tend to forget about the purple and the whites because they tend to forget purple is even part of Valentine's Day. So I figured white and purple really go well together and I could always reuse these for the, for like the white ones I could reuse for around springtime and the purples, you know, I figured I could reuse them because we're on a budget. So we might as well reuse, you reuse what we have. So we are going to be doing my budget setup for February. I am a couple days late on February, but what else is new? I'm t I tend to be late about everything. But yes, we are going to be doing my budget. Now, I had written it out before I got my before I got my um bonus. So I had to rewrite it in the notebook that I had it in. So So that's why I had I had to take out my notebook. Um, so this month we are going with Tiana as our princess for the month, which I think it works perfectly well for Tiana February. I think it's beautiful and it kind of goes off the green really pretty. So the quote is light the way to your dreams. And what's our dream? Get out of debt. So. This is a perfect quote for this month. So I will be setting up my monthly in another video that we have here. And then we have, see it's not working out yet with the flowers. These here. So I'm gonna find a fresh page to put my budget in. Of course there is no fresh page so I'm gonna go grab one okay so these pages I took out of my Erin Condren and I just stapled not stapled them hole punched them to fit this so it's a bit short but hey I'm not gonna let paper get go to waste so I'm gonna move these to the side just a bit because as you can see it's kind of interfering yeah you can see it a little bit there we go. Wanted to make this pretty, but my desk isn't big enough for my camera. So here are my stickers and I'm so excited. So let us set up the budget. We have that and we have these two washies. I think I'm going to go with this one, the Strawberry Clusters. It's been a while since I've used one of these kinds of stickers. Hopefully it goes well. Sorry, I kind of do it sideways. Okay. 
Okay, so just fits. Alrighty. So, have you guys started your budgets yet for the month? I've so far enjoyed the my new happy planner. It's it's been a I've been dabbling with it and I love the princess theme. I've been dabbling with it and I'm trying to get used to it. I'm so used to an Erin Condren, uh, Condren planner, but I have enjoyed it. I also have been enjoying the um, making my own, using up my stickers to create my budget and my paychecks. But I did kind of miss getting stickers from Erica Life Vlogs. The only thing is that they're quite expensive when you get a bunch of them. So, I don't know if I'm going to get next month, but this month I really wanted to get it. So, let me zoom you in just a little bit so you guys can see my handwriting. Okay, so I'm only getting two paychecks this month, which, paycheck one. And paycheck two. The date for this paycheck is going to be the fourth. I don't know which one is this one, so I'll fill it in later. And I'm expecting at least 1100 for both paychecks. I can't believe I'm actually writing this so used to writing you know 950 and then I'm, gonna, I'm going to put extra which for extra I'm going to categorize any extra money I get as well as rollover so we're going to do that and I'm going to do I honestly I don't remember what my rollover was so I'm just going to do like 40 I don't remember, sorry, but I'll, I'll figure it out by the end of the month. I'm thinking of doing a mid-month check-in too, just because I don't know if people are liking the long, I just did my end of month um, recap and it was pretty long. So let me know if you guys want me to do the mid-month or if, you would prefer me to just do it all at once let me know i will try anything okay let me calculate that so 1100 plus 1100 plus 40 equals 2240 So that is what I am expecting to work with. Mind you, it might be more, which I really am hoping it'll be more. But that's at least the base, the minimum I'm going to work with. Okay, so I think I'm going to use this sticker here, this washi. Give it some spread, spread it out a little bit. Okay. Sorry about the shakiness. <sighs> All right. So we are going to be doing the bills. And I'm going to put cash envelopes on this side just to have it there. All right, so bills. Let me zoom you in again. All right, so for bills, we obviously are going to have, hold on. Ugh. I have to turn it around. 
my left-handedness. It's a hard world we left-handed people have to go through. All right, so first and most important, rent. That is always gonna be 300. Then we have Geico. I think next month I'm going to change the bills up and put put in the order of importance. I've just been putting it in randomly. <laughs> so I think that's what I'm going to do next month. And the budget for that, I already know how much it's supposed to be. So I'm just going to put it in 109.63. And then we have my car. Capital One Auto. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to put in extra, so I'm just going to leave it at 308 for now. Then we have the electric. I already paid the electric for this month of February, so this is going to be the electric for next month. So it's going to be 150. That's. It's either going to be more or it's going to be less. I don't know. The electric's been weird. Then we had Verizon. I'm going to go with 85. Then Naviant, which is my student loan that I have been paying on. This one was a private student loan, so that's why I didn't get deferred. And it is still with Naviant. The other, the big mamas that I usually say are big mamas. Um, went to Advantage, Advantage, whatever you want to call it. And I think it's supposed to end, end of, it's supposed to start paying the end of March. I can't remember at this moment, but yeah, it's going to start in a couple months. So it's usually 137 and then Macy's. I am putting 50 for now. I think I'll be able to pay it off in my first paycheck. So I think I'll be able to do it. But I'm going to put this just as just in case. Then we have Dillard's. And I'm putting 50 for this one. I think if I can pay this one off this month, I can at least try to pay at the very latest next month the Dillard's off and then I can just focus on Target and my car. So wish me luck on that. Then we have Target. And that one's going to be 50. All right. So, you know, it surprises me so much how the small amount of the small amount of debts I have right now or even just bills I'm so used to having so many and if everything goes well I'll be done with Macy's wish me luck guys wish me luck okay so let me put the G every time every time all right so I'm gonna add this up can you guys see it there we go so we're going to do 300 plus 109.63 plus 308 plus 150 plus 85 plus 137 plus 150 should be 1,239 dollars and 63 cents. Wow. That's a lot. Uh, it's probably because of the rent and the car payment and the electric and the Navi. You know, all of it. <laughs> I'm not going to even pretend. So next, we're going to be moving on to cash envelopes. Uh, cash envelopes. And cash. Call. Why did I just say cash? Okay, cash envelopes are usually are usually 
my groceries or my family's groceries. We have gas and personal. food and I'm adding salt in here because it is kind of like a common it's not miscellaneous where it's once in a while it's kind of going to become like every month because of the water so I'm putting it here at cash envelopes and then I'm going to put this sticker down Yeah, got to put salt in the water to keep it from killing us. Not that we drink from this water anyway. We usually just buy bottled water because it's a lot better drinking material. <laughs> okay, so groceries, I'm budgeting $240. Then gas, I am upping it from last month at $80. And then personal is going to... It's gonna be a hundred. I think I'm gonna up this next month. Hope, yeah, I think I might up it next month to like maybe 150 because I notice I'm going over. Uh, so, yeah, this might change. These, well, this one might change the food I've been working on, and it's been pretty good. Then we got salt, which is 30. All right. So I've add this, add this up, 240 plus 80 plus 200 plus 30. It should come out to 550. Okay. Then we get to the good stuff, right? Let me put a sticker there. To separate. I can already tell I'm going to be going to another page to the next side of the page so might as well. All right let me zoom you out and move you. There we go. All right so now miscellaneous everyone's favorite and least favorite category. All right. So for miscellaneous, we have savings, which you should always be saving something. And then we have my challenges. And then sinking funds. Now, I want you guys to know if you're new or if you've never done a budget before, if you're new to budgeting at all, challenges and sinking funds, I mean, they're great to do, but if you don't have the money to do them or if you don't have enough, like certain people, do what you can. And if you can't do it this month, you can always try to do it next month or... You can try to do change a change challenge like I'm doing with the penny challenge. Don't feel like you need to copy anyone or be like any other YouTuber. Work with what you get, especially if you're a low income earner like I am. Mind you, I went up a little bit, but that's just because of inflation. They never would have normally did that. They would have kept me on low payments. And I'm putting in a category for Valentine's Day and then taxes. Everyone just loves tax season in, in the U.S., don't we? Woo. <laughs> I mean, it is good when you get money back, but I heard in England they do all the calculations for you. And you get whatever. You get, a re you get your money in the mail when they're finished. If anyone is British on my channel or they seem, please tell me if that's true or not. I saw a TikToker who compared America. He lives in America, but he's British. He compared American taxes with British taxes. 
and I was like, it's that easy? You don't even have to pay anyone to do it? They get paid by the government to do it? Ugh. Please tell me if that's true or not, but... Oh, man. Oh, you know what? I forgot one category. All my chit-chatting. All right. And then one more category. That's going to be debt. Okay. So you got to put something towards debt this month. Alrighty, alrighty. So, savings, I'm going to be doing my usual 20. Challenges, I put it at something safe like 100. I don't want to put too much because I really want to put more towards my debt. Sinking funds, I'm putting 100. Valentine's Day, I'm going to be reasonable. Be reasonable. Because I already got my mom's Valentine's gift. Yeah, my mom and I are the only ones who actually give each other Valentine's gifts. I know, I mean, usually you give stuff to your husband, but I don't think my mom has ever given my stepfather Valentine's. He's not, he, he was raised without holidays because his parents didn't believe in holidays. Like, they're old school, you know, Christians. So, um, even now, after almost... 30 years of living with us he still doesn't believe in like the holidays so we don't bother getting him anything if anything we'll go out to dinner or something so i'm going to put 80 dollars for going out to dinner because i already got my mom her valentine's day gift and i don't want to say what it is just because she it, the house is small and she could hear me because i have a loud mouth <laughs> so yeah um, next we have taxes and taxes. I'm budgeting 50 because I use TurboTax, which is so great and so easy to use. And debt, I'm going to wait to put my debt just because I would like to see. I actually calculated it and it should be about $80.27 left over. So actually, I'm not going to wait. Cause I already pre-did the numbers because I want to see how much I would be able. So around $80.27 $80 is what I should have left over to spend. But mind you, I could make more. So let's add it up. 20 plus 200 plus 80 plus 50 plus 80, 27 equals 430 dollars and 27 cents now this is if everything goes as followed and usually it does not so hopefully i can do more i want to do at least 100 in debt but let's see what happens and i know People have mentioned I should get a second job and stuff. And honestly, my first job, you know how people say it's a nine to five job? My job lately or for the last year or so has been more of uh, a seven to nine o'clock job. Like even this coming week, my boss volunteered me or more like Volun told me that I will be doing a community event that she told me I have to do and we're rotating even though she didn't even tell any of us about it until we saw the schedule and I'm going to basically be working 11 in the morning to 9 o'clock at night of course I'll be paid but who doesn't inform people of that what kind of person does that doesn't even tell me beforehand but what can you do i am gonna start looking for another job hopefully that pays even more than what i'm getting now you know you can always try right you know a, a job that actually is nine to five instead of you know a job that kind of forces you to do 
you know, volunteer, which, you know, I normally would not mind volunteering and stuff, but they have been jam packing it on for the last couple of years. Like, they, you know, we used to do it like once a month, maybe twice a month for, you know, each month. Late, like just this month, we're doing like, I think like four or five just for this month. And I know I'm I'm just rambling and I know <sighs> I know I'm just, you know, harping and all that, but it's just like it's they act like we don't have lives outside of work. Like we don't have families waiting for us, you know? I know, I, I should be I, I am grateful for my job. I'm grateful for the raise I got, but Still, it's a little unfair to expect us to do extra, extra work. And and you know what I found out? They're not going to give us overtime anymore. So now we have to work around the events that we have to do so we don't go overtime. Oh, I don't get it. You know what? I'm going... I'm. I said that I was going to, I'm going to try to think on the positive side, guys. My mom always says, think positively, it's just a job, you can come home and de-stress. So I'm going to look on the bright side. I have a good job. I have a family that loves me. I have a cat that loves me, but also judges me. You guys know Oreo. And I have a car that works. And we just got a house, so I'm going to enjoy my life. I'm going to try to de-stress. So, guys, it's hard because I'm I'm a I guess people call it a pessimist, but I'm more of like a realist. But I guess it gets confused with pessimist. So I'm trying to be more of an optimistic person. So wish me luck on my road to optimism. So we got bills and expenses, 1000 2, Please tell me I'm not the only one that gets stressed out by their job or feel like their job is taking advantage of them in some ways. That would really help me. Like my, my coworkers are like, yeah, it is stressful. They are, you know, I don't know. I need to, I need to go to yoga or, or you know, my Apple watch that I got actually really helps me because there's this app on there that, you know, that helps me. I know it's, it's dumb to say, but it actually helps me center and de-stress for at least a couple, an hour or so. It's, it's like a breathing exercise. It's only for a minute, but it, it like, in my mind, it forces me to take a moment and breathe and de-stress. I don't know why it does that, but it really helps me. It really does. All right, so. You guys can see we have the $2,240. Minus 1,239.63 minus, oh, I think I put it in wrong. So 2,240 minus 1,239.63 minus 550 minus 430.27. How did, I was supposed to have only $20 left. Hey, better positive than negative. So I'm going to go with it. So I'm going to have $20 and 10 cents left over. That's always good to be in the positive, guys. So what do you think? Do you guys like my layout here? I think it's really cute. Really fits Valentine's Day. And it doesn't, like, scream February. So... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you and my ranting, of course. <laughs> I don't know why I felt the need to rant 
in this video or express my feelings at my about things happening but I hope you guys won't judge me too much um I got I hope you guys don't judge me okay all right so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you guys also won't judge me too much for my ranting I don't know where that came from but I think I'm I'm just getting a little I'm like one of those stress-filled people so I need to learn to relax and use my Apple Watch more to relax myself. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. <laughs> if you'd like to see more videos like this one, please subscribe. I would love it. Let me know if you guys like my new little layout. I think it fits pretty well with the theme of February. It doesn't extremely scream February, but you can tell with the colors that it has February touches to it. So I hope to see you guys in the next video. I'll try not to rant in the next one. So have a good one. I'll see you later. Bye.